Like I said, I wasn't planning on going into none of this, speaking on these filthy bitches, man. But that's how the spirit is, man. When the Lord said to how much you outside, is angry, man. He's mad, man. You know? I want to come out here. I want to read some of them beautiful scriptures in Hebrew. I want to go into how the Lord sacrificed himself for us, man. You know? The book of Hebrews is beautiful, man. It's beautiful. And now the wicked niggas and put up it's, it's, it's just come up against the, the word of the Lord now. It's it, it, it made me go into it some more, to read it some more, man. And now the wicked niggas put some light on it. I'm seeing it even build more better than I've seen it before. This is the word of the Yahweh Yahushai, the book of Hebrews. You know? The book is beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. They don't know who read. They don't know who wrote the Bible book of Timothy when it's right there. The book of Hebrews, Salak. Dumbasses. So going back into Micah, it says, Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. The elect, man, though we down, and you know, though we in the bottom, we're coming up now. And you see it now. How it's working, how you know you see it. You see it through the through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai with this truth. You know? Because the funny thing is. We're at the bottom, but this truth ain't none of these bitches or none of these gang sayers can come against it. None of them, man. You know? So this is all we need. We don't need no physical uh, new car. We don't need no new fucking house. All kind of bling bling. You know? We don't need the best of shit now, man. We got the word, man. Because we know this this place is on its way out. This place is about to be laid flat, man. So y'all bitches can have this place, man. So though we rock, though, though, what it say? Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, so we live, so we fall, so we sit in darkness, and we we come, we on our way up now. The Lord shall be a light unto me. This is that light, man. This truth. And, and, and none of them got the power to take you. They can go to child support. They can call the police on you and all that shit, man. They got the backing of this goddamn devil. But you know what? The, the, the combination of them tag teaming still can't take this word from us, man. Fuck this world, man. Fuck these bitches, man. You know? This is ours, man. You know? The, the, the prophets, the word of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. <coughs> that means we're taking ownership. The prophets are old. We're rising up again. You know? So our enemies have to present themselves. And they have to get worse, man. You know? I will bear the indignation of the Lord. And this is part of that indignation. We've got to deal with it. And you know, we bear in the indignation of the Lord because we've repented, you know? And we're starting to be, and he's starting to have, and he's, ha and he's having mercy on us. A perfect example of him having mercy is us having his word, man. You know, so we're bearing the indignation of the Lord, the punishment. His righteous judgment, you know, just to say. Well, he told us, man, they'll go off, man, I'm gonna get y'all, you know? I will bicker the nation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he pleads my cause. And that's your Howard side, he pleads our cause to the Most High, man, to the Howard. Man. He's our attorney. Intercession. He's become, he's, we don't go straight to the Lord. You know? We pray to the Lord. That's why we say, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. It ain't just Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. And it definitely ain't no goddamn Christ. Christ, Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, bless God Christ. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she, then she, that nappy headed, bald headed bitch, that scoffing, that rebellious ass hoe, rebellious hoe, man, this bitch is rebellious, man. Hey, man, you can't. Hey, rebellious. That's because there ain't no fight on hand. There ain't no power on hand. So she had these women literally have no respect for the Israelites. Though he fought 
beating the shit out of her fucking, he gives her the pot good. Like I said, that day she wakes up, man, she has a change of heart, quick, you know? Having a change of heart, these two, these women is nothing, man. That's small, man. That's a small thing. Having a change of heart. Here, this woman can lay down and have multiple children by they one man. You see them together one day, look happy, man. Look like a, a happy Israelite couple, man. You know? He got a smile on his face, carrying the bags, children all chippy. She got her little switch, walking with her man, holding. I love my baby. I love my baby. One day they look happy as it can be, man. Like they in the kingdom of heaven. That's how it feels like when you on that vibration with a woman. Y'all clicking on all cylinders. Everything is good, you know? It feels like you in heaven. It does, man. It's good. She ain't stressing about you in love and shit. That day you wake up. That day you wake up. The day you see him happy, the next day you don't see him. He ain't no way to ever see that. He homeless and shit. You run down the street, you might see him on the corner. He homeless. But you see her ass. Kids ain't around, but she was some other nigga. She dropped the kids off. <laughs> Somewhere. Kids may have been taken. She may have gave them, gave them up. You know? All those examples. Give them up for adoption. Hell, my sister was about to give her twin sons up for adoption. Until I intervened. I want to assemble the family, man. She's about to give them motherfuckers up for an adoption, man. You know? I didn't know no better, man. I should just left her alone. But them two motherfucking twins. I, I, to this day, I swear up and down, they terrors, man. <laughs> one of them is a high-ranking officer in the Air Force. Another one is a police officer. Or die, I went to assume with the family, man. And they all went and <laughs> Sometimes I need smack. That was before the truth, man. That was years ago. Like I said, they were kids, man. They were kids. Now they grown ass grown ass tears, man. Like I said, they're not tears, man. So I don't know what a tear is, but they got the foul ass spirit on them. They got the spirit of a tear. They got the spirit, they got the spirit of eat on them. We've all uh, encountered many terrors out here on these highways and byways. They have that spirit of an, Ed of an Edomite. Listen, one of them's a police officer, and one of them's a high officer in the, in the U.S. Air Force. Whew. Whose plans to come out, he's going to be in law enforcement. You want to talk about the Lord is with Edom. He's, he's with Edom. Even now, he's still with Edom a little. Even though Edom's society's coming down, he's still with Edom. You know, Edom's still on top. Edom still have all power in his hands and his might, all might in his hands. Right? You know? So, she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where's the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trod down into the mud. Right now, they in that spirit of this Lord, the Israelite fad, man. The Israelite fad because Jake ain't Jake is just looking to build and continue on this is society. And what did um Jeff Jim Messer with Aaron Warren? They bring they they brought uh, they brought it up. This they said uh, they said uh, for using fair kind of example because you know fair kind is looking for their own land. They're already they're already uh, investing in their own land. What they said, but in the future you're gonna see they're gonna they're gonna get their, all this land, but what's gonna happen? It's gonna turn into like like Jamaica. Look at Jamaica, look at Brazil, man. You know, and that's exactly what's gonna happen, man, with these Israelite niggas. If you ain't fully with your how bush and your how was shy, that's exactly what's gonna happen, man. And these Israelite niggas is building in that same spirit, man. Oh, you with the Lord, man. The Lord. That's exactly what's going to turn into. And watch what happens in the future with IUIC. And you already see, oh man, the brother just put up the video I just saw this morning. You see Israelites, them niggas, you see Jake tagging buses and, and trains. 
with graffiti. You know? They help us bringing in this devil to bring come against us, man. I was dog, I was like, what? The name of the video was um, The House of Soul Wax Weaker. And Weaker. Uh, had they had fringes on, you know, the shirt fringes with the star of David and shit on. All kind of clues to how you know who have understanding and who don't have understanding, man. Right? You know? Tagging, tagging the train or, or a freeway wall or tagging something, man. Spray paint with the graffiti. It looks like it was a Lord and but they even look like they got it kind of wrong. Wicked as hell, man. But again, the script says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall come of her who said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? And I've actually had that said to me by um, my old poet. Which I used to fuck with back in the day, laughing. Ha ha ha! What happened? America ain't been destroyed. America's not been destroyed yet. Talking shit, man. I'm like, damn. And the bitch worked for child support. Talking shit. Talking shit. shall separate you from their company. 
Spirit shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. <coughs> Rejoice ye in that day, and leave for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the Lord. And woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Go unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And let me tell you now, those that are more laughing now are the same ones that are, are full. Nice ass job. Good job working for the city, the government. Working downtown, you know, for poor American shit. Eating good, man. So the Lord's gonna take all your comforts away, all your joy, all your uh, uh, entitlements, all he's gonna take he's gonna take the jobs away. You know? He's gonna take all your jobs away. He's already setting some of you dumb asses up because you trust the enemy, giving y'all a little check here and there for free. So a lot of you motherfuckers literally don't even go to work, man. Ain't paying a goddamn bill, ain't paying no goddamn rent. But all you're doing is just spending that money and you're spending it good on full of shit. You've been set up. You're set up for the slaughter, baby. You're set up for the slaughter. You know? So the scriptures laugh now, those of you that are full, for you shall mourn and weep. You know, so, ha, 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 where's the war? Where's the destruction of America? Ha, huh. behold. <laughs> behold. <laughs> the destruction of America is at hand. <laughs> it ain't going back to no motherfucking normal, because that's what a lot of you wait for. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? to you when all men shall speak well of you and that's going to something oh oh yeah so you laugh now you're gonna mourn and weep later but it's gonna be the spirit of your how about you it's your how about you shine to be laughing at your ass later and i ain't been as proverbs in a minute proverbs 1 and 19 so are the ways of everyone that is greedy and get gain which take away the life of the owners thereof Wisdom cries without, she utters her words in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates. In the city she utters her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Wow, oh, it's funny now, huh? Fools hate knowledge. Those fools come in many shapes and in, 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 um, as far as uh, male and female, when fools are male and female, fools, man. Right? When all we are, that's one of the hundreds of them that should have had her motherfucking mouth shut. But she scoffed and scorned. <laughs> it says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known. My words unto you. Alright? And all the men of the Lord had examples of that. Motherfuckers think it's funny. It's funny, huh? It's funny, huh? Alright. Because hey, the world, they can only they can only identify you as that person of the world. They can never they can't see you as a man of the Lord. You know? I, what, what, women are fools, stupid, man. I mean, you open your legs to that motherfucker, but how, how can you, how can you view, you view him as a fool? They just show you how foolish and stupid you are, you know? How many fools have you opened your legs to? Which we know has been many, you know? And even men, you know? They can't, they can't view the, the, the men, great millstone, they can't view the men of the Lord as actual prophets, man. They can't see that, man. I know that nigga. That's the same way how they looked at you, how was shy. Is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't that Joseph, isn't that Joseph's son? Like he can't be a prophet. Like he couldn't have been a, the son of the uh, how about Shimmy how was You know, isn't that Joseph's son? The same spirit, man. So that's why they rejected the world. You know? Because I knew that nigga in the world. That's, that, that's, that, that's my nigga. You know? That's my nigga. That used to be my nigga. <laughs> that's what it's like. Dumbasses. Oh, dumbasses. It says, turn to you at my reproof. 
Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called you in you. I have stretched out my hand and held back to the Lord. He has said it known all of my counsel and have done of my reproof. So you chose not to repent, period. You know? You chose not to repent. You weren't you weren't the sheep that heard the Lord's voice and followed, you know? You know? So it says this. I will also laugh at your calamity. I also will laugh at you. I will mock you for fear cometh. For fear cometh as a desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Them. They shall seek me, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Your boy Willie D said, I don't fear the creator. That nigga actually said he don't fear clear. I mean, damn, you seen firsthand what the creator with the halibut shit and also I do. Like you like looking at your boy Bush with Bill. The most I literally destroyed that motherfucker, shot his eye out first, killed his ass later. You don't see what the Heavenly Father does, man. You don't fear. When you make a statement like you don't fear the Lord, then, well, unfortunately, you're gonna learn the fear of the Lord. But you're gonna learn it from the left hand side, you know? You know? See, we learned it from the right hand side where we take it, we took it as correction. We took it delightfully. We took it cheerfully as correction. But you're gonna take it on the left hand side and you're gonna be destroyed, nigga. You're gonna fear the left side. Oh, anybody fuck that's such a foolish fucking state. And huh, he's not for everybody, like I was saying, man. The Lord ain't coming to save everybody. He's only coming to save that remnant, which I was going into earlier. That remnant. Here. Go to the book of John. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. John 17 and 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are gone. And who was given to them all were they left. Read again. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are gone. He's not coming to save everybody. You see? Let me hold this here. What's this say? Thursday and his people. And ye shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah. He shall save his people from their sins. And his sins are the elect, not everybody, man. and not the whole fucking world. Which they try and teach. That remnant that's coming from out of all the nations. That's not all the nations, man. It's just his people. And that's he that's easy to understand. And that's easy to be proven in the scripture. It just says it for itself. It says his people. How specific can we get from that? His people. Like my people. Like my people, my family. My kids. My seed. And my wife. And, like, and just some motherfuckers just walk up and say, you my daddy. You know? Motherfucker just can't make himself a part of your family. It don't work that way. You know? Here's me. Let me see another one in here. Uh, I got a couple precepts written down here. 
Matthew 15 and 24. The popular one. Matthew 10, 5. You know? Go not into the way of the Gentiles, Matthew 10, 5. These twelve year old shall I send forth and command them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, entry ye not. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right? And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? So there you go. There you go. That's one. Let's go to 15. His judgments, they, the other nations, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You know, I so ain't dealing with these motherfucking heathens, man. Excuse my language. Excuse my French. Handsomely rewarded, though. 
get handsomely rewarded. Eight. Enough grass that you can't be, you can't push with it. You gotta, you gotta be really down on your luck doing all them guards, all them acres, man, on a push move. You gotta have a rider. What was I at? Oh man.